Hello, this is Sharon from icstatisticalprogramming.com. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create a basic three-dimensional summary table. Three-dimensional summary tables produce the output on separate pages with rows and columns on each page. Before we look at the PROC tabulate procedure, again, I'm going to run this view statement to be able to use a permanent data set that's stored in this score library. Okay, let's run this. And then let's go to library. Let's go to code window here. And then the score data one again is the data uh, I'm going to be used for tabulate procedure. Let me click on this. In this data set, score data one, I'm going to use a few variables in the later PROC tabulate procedure. One is class information, content student class information. It has class A, B, C, and D. And also another variable is gender. This gender information, this variable, contains two categories. One is male, another one is female. And also there's another variable, score one, which is the math score. I'm going to use this score one in the program as well. Okay. Let's go back to the code window. Let's look at the PROC tabulate procedure. Again, this is the data eco option. This is the data I want to use. And for the title for the uh, table that will be generated from procedure is three dimensional table and my score average by gender group for each class. All right. In the class statement, we have two class variable here. One is uh, class, this is the student class information, and another one is gender, it's the student gender information. And in this where statement, the analysis variable I want to use is score one, which is the math score. And uh, also in the table statement, this is a three-dimensional table statement. The first one, this class variable, this is for page dimension. A page will be created for each value of this class variable. Okay. And then the second one is gender uh, variable. This gender variable is for a uh, row dimension. A row uh, will be created for each value of this gender variable. Okay. And lastly, is the column dimension. This column dimension, the variable we're using is the analysis variable score one. And also the requested statistic is mean instead of the default statistic, which is sum. Okay. And the mean statistic will be used to summarize the value of this score one variable. Okay. Let's run this procedure and see what table uh, we'll be getting. This is the tables. As I mentioned earlier, because the page dimension is the student class information, that's why for different class value, it has one page for each value of class information. This is the uh, first page, class equals A. So this is the page for class equals A. And then the second one is the page for class equals B, and the third is class equals C, and the lastly is class equals D, okay? And then for the row dimension is the gender information. We can see each category or each value of gender occupies one row, female and the male. And also for the column dimension is mass score, and the mean statistic was calculated for this score to summarize the data. The mean of math score is calculated for each different category of gender. Okay. It's the same story for every page listed here. Okay. This shows us a three dimensional table. All right. This is it for this tutorial. This tutorial, we talk about how to create a basic three dimensional summary table using PROC tabulate procedure. All right. Thank you for watching. See you next time.